G'day everyone, Stewie Bourne from Soul Growers here in the beautiful Barossa Valley on the other side of Mother Earth, Southern Hemisphere. Um, what I thought we'd do today is we're just going to spend a little bit of time together. We're going to talk a little bit about the Barossa, its history uh, and the people, a little bit about the philosophy of winemaking here at Soul Growers. And then I thought we'd um, delve into the actual wines that you guys have got coming for you at Australian Vine or Australian wine, depending on what your accent is. So to start with, the Barossa was settled back in the 1840s by a whole bunch of um, Germanic Lutherans from Silesia. They were fleeing persecution. They came out to South Australia to be free, to, to practice their Lutheran Christianity without fear of persecution. So that German bloodline or that Germanic bloodline that runs through the Barossa still runs very deep today, six, seven generations down the track. So if you look at some of the names of the Barossa, the family names that are still here growing grapes, uh, Kaleski, uh, Haberman, Hoffman, Liesch, Heinze, Schulz, Stiller, Schulz, Scholz, Schultz, don't get those two mixed up. Um, it really, it almost looks like the Berlin phone book because that's the Lutheran Christianity base to the Barossa with European settlement. So in the Barossa, there is uh, now over 140 years of grape growing history, pretty much, um, and even longer in some parts. Where what we're trying to do at Soul Growers now is respect that. So at Soul Growers, we actually don't grow grapes. So now I can hear you wondering, well, how the hell do you make wine? Well, it's pretty easy. We don't grow grapes, we buy grapes. And we buy grapes from a whole bunch of these old Lutheran families who've been in the Barossa for, for generations. Um, of the almost 500 families that still today grow grapes in the Barossa, we've got 23 of them on our books at Soul Growers. So it's all done with handshake agreements. It's, it's really old school. Uh, we agree to buy their grapes, we shake their hand, and that's a contract. It's pretty simple, it's, it's old fashioned, but we're a bit old fashioned. So with that in mind, let's talk a little bit about the philosophy of winemaking here at, uh, at Soul Growers. Um, it's pretty simple. It's very, very simplistic winemaking at its best. Some people talk about um, minimum intervention, I think that's a pretty good way because no matter how hard you stand and stare at a bunch of grapes, it won't turn into a bottle of wine. There are no fairies in the world that do it. You have to do it, but what you need to do is do as little as possible to get that bunch of grapes into a bottle. So all of our red wine making is very simple. It's open fermented, it's soft pressed, it's barrel aged. And then if you think that a, a bottle of wine is just a jigsaw puzzle, what do you make jigsaw puzzles out of? You make them out of pieces. What are the pieces? Look behind you, there's the start of it. Every barrel of wine is a piece waiting to find a puzzle. And that's all we do. So for three months of the year we make wine and for nine months of the year we sit on the floor like small children and we play jigsaw puzzles. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, and if no one likes that, you can cut that shit out, can't you? Yeah, okay, cool. Um, Okay, so the actual wines that you've got, let's, uh, let's talk briefly about them um, and very much appreciate your patience in putting up with us. Um, the first one is Equilibrium GSM, Grenache, Shiraz, Mataro, Equilibrium. Life's all about balance. Winemaking's all about balance. You're trying to balance the Grenache, the Shiraz and the Mataro. So obviously in the Barossa we use the term Mataro, but some of you may be more familiar with the, the French term Mouvedre uh, or Mouvedre. Um, Grenache is soft, Shiraz is heavy, spicy, earthy. Mataro is the salt and pepper that you sprinkle over it. So it all starts with a backbone of Grenache and you blend the S and the M around it. And let's face it, we all like a little bit of S and M uh, when it comes down to it. So Provident Shiraz is the next wine you've got. Provident Shiraz, I think the easiest way to describe that is um, welcome to the Barossa, have a Shiraz day. 
66% of the vineyards in the Barossa is one variety. It's, it's Shiraz. That's, that's our hero in the Barossa. It's the one we, we held up on the, on the pedestal and said that this is what we'll be great at. Everyone's got to be good at something. Shiraz is our hero. Um, with the Provident Shiraz, it's all Shiraz. It's all from one year. It's all from one region, but it's not all from one block. It's from multiple vineyard so it's a great way to introduce you to all of the families we deal with because we just take a few barrels of Shiraz from everyone's individual blocks and mix them together to give you the provident. Uh, slow grown Shiraz stepping up in price stepping up in quality we'd like to think um, when we make all of our batches of wine each year at Soul Growers um, every family is made into an individual batch Every batch goes into barrels, and then they're the pieces we can mix later on to make these jigsaw puzzles. What we'll do is we'll go through after we've made all the wines for the year and we'll pull out the absolute best of the best. Put it to one side, and that will be the single vineyard wines. There's one of them coming up in a tick, we'll get to that. So pull out the best of the best. The next one is whatever's left, you go through again and you pull out the rest of the best and this is where slow grown Shiraz will come into it in a tick whatever's left after that is obviously the rest of the rest so the three cut or the three tiers which a lot of the great European winemaking houses still do today best of the best the rest of the best and the rest of the rest one two three so slow grown, barrel selected, individual barrels from our best growers, old fashioned Barossa Shiraz, uh, French and American oak, mostly hogsheads, some punching. So we're using 300 and 500 litre barrels, but we're not using a lot of new oak. We don't want really oaky wines. House style for us is soft because it's open fermented and soft pressed. Uh, house style is also not aggressive. We're not soaking them on skins for 30 days to get very extracted. We're not putting 100% new oak into them to make them really oaky. It's, it's all about, again, it's ex express a vineyard, don't express a forest. The Gobel single vineyard Shiraz that you've got, well, there's a, there's a really good Germanic name for you, the Gobels. The Gobels have been out on their block for five, six generations now, um, and I think by going down to this level, we can really show you the absolute best of the Barossa, these little patches that are just too good to mix with the rest. Um, cellaring potential on all of these wines, guaranteed. You wanna put them down for five, 10 years, no problems. They will sell beautifully. And the last one for you is the El Mejor. Spanish for the best. What is the best? The best to us? Uh, it's Cabernet. Mataro, Mavedro, Cabernet, Mataro, Shiraz blend. It's a CMS. And I'd like to think that one of, one of the few people in Australia, definitely in the Barossa, doing a CMS blend. The other thing about the El Mejor is it's all pressings. So as the vintage period goes through and the batches come through, we'll take a little bit of pressings from our best Cabernet, best Mataro and best Shiraz, and we'll put them into barrels and accumulate that wine over the course of vintage. So at the end of vintage, there's two barrels of the absolute best from the pressings. Um, so there you go, in a bit of a nutshell, that's us at Soul Growers, from the Barossa Valley, from all of us to the other side of the world, thank you so much for supporting us at Australian Vine, Australian Wine, uh, we wish you all the best and I'm going to go back to the winery and freeze my ass off because it's the middle of winter here. Cheers heaps.